we are gonna be doing our makeup really bad and going out to the street to test it out. What am I doing, you guys? This is tragic. So I asked him like what new stuff I could do. He was like, what do you mean? What do you want? I guess that's kind of rude to say. Hi guys, I'm Mar and today I'm so excited because we are gonna be doing our makeup really bad and again going out to the street to test it out. So I'm excited, I'm nervous, but hopefully it will turn out better than last time. I mean, I'm not sure what's gonna happen, but if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel by clicking down there. Also tap that little notification bell to join Club Mar. I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday at the very least, so you definitely want to be subscribed so you don't miss out on any of the new video awesomeness. But yeah guys, okay. Okay, let's get started. Let's get this face did. Okay, so last time we actually went to Sephora, I went to Sephora wearing ugly makeup and you guys seem to really enjoy that. So a lot of you were asking for two things. One, for me to go back with a full face, full look, beat face, and I'm gonna try that, but also to go to MAC. And I was like, why MAC? I mean, some asked for Ulta, which made sense to me, but I wasn't sure why MAC. So a lot of comments kept coming up and I kept reading them. And I guess the people at MAC have a bit of a reputation for not being very nice. Personally, I don't feel I've ever been treated like poorly at MAC. I definitely feel that when I started doing my makeup, I was just kind of nervous to approach the MAC counter because everybody just seemed so talented and I was just like nervous to say anything or like not know something. And I just don't feel that's how you should feel, especially when you're gonna go buy a product. So well, today I'm gonna go with really bad makeup you guys also told me that the makeup wasn't bad enough which i thought was really bad so i'm gonna give it another try also um yeah say hi to this little friend right here she's coming along she's here for the video but yeah i grabbed this foundation it's actually a little bit hard for me to find super light foundation because i tend to only keep foundations that will match me even when i'm at my <laughs> okay this is hella light I wanted to do this where it looked like bad makeup, but it didn't look like it was done intentionally. So that's why last time on the video I did when I went to Sephora wearing ugly makeup, I didn't want to, you know, do too much. But I guess we're going to add a little bit more today. Okay, so this for sure is not my shade. I look <laughs> very pale. Maybe I should, instead of trying to cover it up, I should do something where it just like... You can see it even more. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's on. Now I'm going to do concealer. I brought you guys just a bit closer so you could see this mess I'm doing. And the concealer is for sure lighter. So I'm going to try and blend it in, but I want them to be able to see my concealer just right there. Honestly, I read all the comments you guys left on my Sephora video, and I was really surprised and a little sad that so many people ha had so many bad experiences. But I also read comments from people that actually work selling makeup, and they said they didn't like to tell people like kind of like what they were doing wrong just because, you know, some people just feel like this way is better so they don't want to kind of offend anybody which made sense to me but remember at sephora they didn't tell me to like sanitize before putting a lipstick on so like that's not really hard that part i felt was wrong but we'll see what happens today i'm not going in with a negative mind i'm not going in thinking anything's gonna go bad i'm just gonna go in with my makeup and see what happens okay so i'm gonna kind of bake this and i'm gonna leave the powder there just so it's <laughs> So it's really obvious. Although my skin is also white. You can't really see the powder too much, but it's there. There we go. Come through. It already looks so bad. So for sure we need to contour and I'm not gonna blend it in like at all. I'm just gonna do one really hard line. Oh, this contour is so tragic. And it looks really harsh against my skin. When I'm doing it, the impulse to blend it out, but I can't. Oh, let's do some nose contour. Oh, nose contour is hard. I mean, I find it hard. I'm gonna use this brush. Maybe I should do it where it's like completely wrong, where it actually makes my nose bigger. But I feel like I do need to blend it just a little because this is just too obvious. <laughs> oh my God. What am I doing, you guys? I feel like I look so ridiculous. There I go. Oh my gosh. Uh-oh. Let me do my brows. I feel like I need to pluck them a bit, but I'm going to do kind of the same thing I did last time, just where I'm doing it like very harsh, you know, not really blending. I feel like what I'm mostly doing is just makeup mistakes that a lot of people do and that I've definitely done before. I'll ask if they can help me with my makeup and hopefully they'll feel comfortable enough to like help and educate and just tell me some things that maybe I don't know that I'm doing wrong. Okay, here one brow looks a lot thinner than the other. So strange. Because I'm using like the product I use like all the time for brows and they look so different. How are we feeling about this guys? Okay, I'm gonna do the eyes and what I was thinking was that I could use some glitter and have fallout glitter. So I'm actually gonna use this heavy metal liner, which I love, but I feel that when you use it on your whole eyeball it kind of tends to crease a little bit so it'll be good just so that it's creasing i'm not gonna use any primer because 
we're going with Makeup Mistakes here. And this is kind of going to be like my glue to my glitter. Uh oh. All right, here I have the glitter. I don't even know. This is tragic. Like, do you guys see this difference in color? I don't even know what that is. I don't know if it's contour. I don't know what's happening. Ah! Putting on the glitter. I already have some fallout. I'm like letting it fall. I'm kind of adding some because it's not really falling. It's sticking pretty well. I mean, I feel like this has happened to a lot of us. What I try to do when I'm going to wear glitter is to just do my foundation last. It's probably the easiest thing. At least I would think. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm putting more down here than I'm putting up here. I'm not sure if that camera is going to catch it. So I'll show it to you guys. Here you can see how there's like my skin. It looks so <laughs> All right, I'm gonna add, <gasps> maybe I should add an orange transition shade because why not? I mean, it's Halloween or at least it's coming up. This is just the first palette that came up and it has like this kind of shimmery orange type thing. So I'm gonna put this on. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be exposed. Like they're gonna know I have to be joking with this makeup because <laughs> there's so many things wrong. I feel like I haven't done one thing kind of right. Oh Lord, okay, here we are. I feel like I'm gonna make that a bit darker, but I'm not really blending it. How are we feeling about it? Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna put on my mascara. I was really happy with my pick last time of this colossal chaos or chaotic. So I'm just gonna go with that again. I'm trying to make a clump. Ooh, do you see that big clump right there? There's a big clump. Ooh, I'm gonna leave that like that. I'm trying to make it hella clumpy. Like these lashes like going all in opposite directions. Oh my gosh, okay. I also got some mascara on my eyelid, which I think is good. This looks good. Oh my God, I can't believe I just said this looks good, but it does, I mean, for its purpose, it looks good. I need my highlight. I'm gonna put so much of this. See where these two are blending together? It looks weird. So I'm on my nose, the bridge of my nose, of course. Maybe on my temple. Oh my god, this is much worse than last time. I mean, last time it looked great compared to this. Oh gosh, I'm so nervous. All right guys, and for the final touch, I'm gonna overline my lips by like a lot. <laughs> Like my actual lip is down here and then my fake lip is up there. Am I going crazy? I feel like it's starting to look good. <laughs> like, I feel like that looks somewhat natural. As natural as it could be. Oh God. I feel like I'm gonna get called out. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like somebody's gonna say something to me for some reason. Let's see what happens. And I'm actually gonna fill in my lip with this. Just cause, I don't know. <laughs> this looks so weird. All right guys, let me give you some glamour shots. How am I looking? I can't like not laugh. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so this is my look. I'm gonna go now to the next store, see how they treat me. I hope they'll say something. I mean, I hope they'll just give me a little bit of help and they educate me. I hope they're not mean, of course, but I just think like if I saw somebody walking around like this, I would want to tell them something at least about like one of their things. So yeah, let's see what happens. I have no idea. So let's go. Oh my god. This looks awful. You guys, we're on our way to the Mac store. I don't even know. Girl, what is this makeup? It looks so bad. Let's see what happens. You guys, I'm so nervous because this Mac is at a mall. I have to walk through the mall with this crazy face. Okay, deep breaths. <laughs> Look at my highlight in the sun though. Mm. So bright. All right, we're in the mall. I'm so embarrassed every time I walk by somebody. I'm don't look at me. Oh my gosh. You're making me do this. I swear. I would have never put so much on, but you guys were like, no, you got it, girl. So we're gonna do it. Right now we're just getting ready for our holiday, so right now we don't have anything new. Our holiday oh. sets are coming out like in the next maybe two weeks. We're pre-selling already too, so everything once you pre-sell it's gonna be on hold for you. Can I see it? Yeah. yeah. Oh. So, I don't have the card right now, but this oh, is kind of like what's coming out. Yeah. Oh, so I these would are like the helmet sets, right? Okay. So we have the eyeshadow compact. This is like a, yeah. a highlight blush and bronzer duo. We have the brushes. Okay. I was looking at these because I love like glitter. Mm -hmm. Look, there you go. Yeah. So you can use that as a, like a topper. So you put the eyeshadow first, and then that on top of it to give it more of a, a Oh, so you recommend, so what would you recommend? I mean, it, like I said, like you could use it on top. So there's not something I could recommend. I mean, oh. if it's what you're looking for, then I oh, could help you with it. But I'm saying this, you could use that as a topper. Yeah, for, yeah. for glitter? For glitter, yeah. So you could use the eyeshadow first, and then this on top of it. So this would just be like, it just look like pure glitter. Right. 
So he said I have to use to get an eyeshadow and then this to put over it. Can I try this on? Yeah. He'll give you a brush if you try it on. For a brush? There you go. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. He gave me a brush so I could try it on. What do you think? Do you like it? Yeah. Does it look blue? Does it look purple? Or does it look black? It looks purple. It looks purple? I feel like it looks black. I want to ask him if he feels like it looks good. Mm, sorry. Mm -hmm. Is this... Can I put it on, right? You could, yeah, you could put it on like this or you could use it with the applicator that comes oh, with already. Oh, okay. You want to get that one? Yes. Is that fine? What do you mean it was like? It looks good. Like do you how like it? I put it on. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah so I'm gonna get this it. one. Yeah. Okay. I really like it. It reminds Perfect. me of my left foot. Oh, it does. Oh, yeah. Do you have like something like? Yep. So it'll be twenty four twenty one. Thank you. Woo! Okay. Hey guys, I'm back looking actually worse than how I left, <laughs> which is um, apparently possible. But all right guys, so you already saw a lot of what happened. I just kind of wanted to take you through and tell you some things that maybe you couldn't really see in the video and stuff like that. So when I walked into the store, it wasn't busy at all and there were only two people working there. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna get some like good attention. Like I'm actually gonna be able to talk to the person working because there wasn't a lot of people around, but I was wrong. I mean, very wrong. I will say the person that helped me was very nice. He wasn't mean, he wasn't rude. I know a lot of you have had bad experiences, especially with Mac. And I know it's kind of like this thing where like employees are rude, but I didn't feel like he was rude to me at all. So at first I was just kind of looking around the store and okay. What I found to be really strange was that I asked him, you know, I asked him like what new stuff I could do, what new stuff I could try, new products, what I could change in my look. and he he was really confused by that question so I don't know if I would have asked it with a better makeup if he wouldn't have been so confused because he was like what do you mean what do you want tell me what you want but now that I think of it I guess that's kind of rude to say but I don't know I didn't feel like he was being rude you know he was just telling me like tell me exactly what you want and I could help you because I was being like very like I guess vague because I was being like well I'm, I don't know I just want to see products like tell me what you have like new stuff so the first thing he went to was the holiday collection it wasn't even out yet and he pulled out like some pictures and he was trying to sell me the collection based on the pictures which weren't even like good pictures which was crazy to me he was like oh it's on pre-sale I don't know if he did that because I mean of my makeup he was like oh this girl doesn't know anything about makeup so we could just like sell anything to her I have no idea because I was really confused I was like I guess I would want to try it out I don't know that's why I'm at the store right so I actually also ended up buying <laughs> this thing which is I think it's new it's the Dazzle Shadow Liquid and the one I got is pantherized. Oh, the color is really pretty. It's like a purple. I'm sorry guys, I just love makeup so I ended up getting it. But when I was asking him about it, I was like, okay, I love glitter. What can I do? How should I put it on? He was like, nothing. He was just like, oh, you can buy this and you can buy that and that's it. I mean, it wasn't like, oh, okay, this is how you can put it on or like what you can do. He was just like, do this and he left. I mean, halfway through helping me, he left to go help somebody else, which is fine. There weren't a lot of people helping at the store anyway, but I really felt abandoned because I was like, like, okay, we were like talking about this product and he just like, he was like, look at this and left, which is kind of like what happened at Sephora. So I don't know if that happens a lot. And then after I kept trying to like get his attention, but he was with the other client. So I asked him like to try the product on and he just gave me a brush and I wasn't sure what I was supposed to do with the brush, just like put it on because he was actually putting makeup on this other client that had arrived after me and had asked for help after I had. So I understand there's a lot of clients. You were helping me first and I needed help like trying this on and he was just like put that on so I'm not sure if that happened because of like my makeup I'm not sure if it's just like an understaffing problem I'm I'm not sure honestly I was a little disappointed just because it was very like you figure it out you figure out what to do with that product which was a little annoying because it's like a liquid shadow it's not really a traditional product I mean it's very easy to use but I mean you could tell I didn't know what I was doing and I asked him straight up I was like did I put it on right was is this good is this what it's supposed to look like and he was kind of like well I mean if it looks good to you you know it looks fine <laughs> because I was trying to get him to feel comfortable to tell me something like maybe some tips or some tricks for my makeup and he was just like yeah you look great you look great and I I was like, don't lie. <laughs> 
I mean, he said I looked great. Like this, okay? Like this, I'm looking great. Mm -hmm. But honestly, it was kind of the same thing as Sephora. Like, they just cared about the sale. Just like in this case, he was like, okay, I'm gonna focus on the other client because I don't know why he would think the other client was gonna buy more makeup than me because clearly I liked to wear makeup. I just didn't know how to wear it. But he was taking his time with the other person he was helping. He was asking her like, what colors, whatever. I mean, I actually now I want to try this again with a bare face because I felt like the way he was talking to her, I'm not sure how I felt about it, but to me, he was never rude. So yeah, we need to try this again for sure with full glam to see if I don't get ignored. I'm not sure if I got more ignored the first time or the second time because the first time that we did this at Sephora, somebody came out to help me. Somebody I believed was a trainer, but after you guys were seeing the video and then write your comments, apparently the person that helped me was somebody that actually worked for Dior, which was very confusing because I asked her if she worked for Dior and she said no, that she was a trainer. So I don't know. There's a lot of weird stuff happening. But yeah, um, I walked out looking like this because I tried on the shadow I bought. I feel like I look worse <laughs> than how I came in. But yeah, this is what I look like. But yeah, guys, please let me know if you would like to see another one of these. If you would like to see the full glam, full beat, or if you would like to see the no makeup, like absolutely nothing, complete bare face. Let me know in the comments and also let me know if you've had any bad experiences with any makeup store or any store really where you've had something happen to you. I would love to read. I would love to know about those things. I'm always down there dropping some hearts and replying. So let's get in the comments and have some fun. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.